So find the function rule. Assume that it's linear. So don't freak you out there. Uh, linear just means straight line. That's what we know in eighth grade. Function rule, that just means it's an equation. So linear equation, slope intercept form. That's what they want. And um, so if it says function rule, your first step is go find slope. Okay. So uh, here we go. Find your y's. So I like that 15. I'm going to plug that 15 in there. And I like this negative 24. So I'm going to make this y over here negative 24. Look what we've got right here, minus negative. Now, if you've got a calculator, you don't have to worry about changing it. You just dump it in that way. But if you're doing it by hand, you might want to make that into a plus there because we'll keep change change. Now, um, because I used this y for the 15 first, I'm going to use the x here, make that negative 3. And because I used the negative 24 for the second y, this 10 right here is going to become this x. Plug it in. Go calculate my slope. And it's negative 3. So the second thing is we're going to use point slope, and we're going to plug our slope in. This negative 3 right here is m. We're going to plug it in for this m right here. Okay. And uh, let's see, which x, y do I want to plug in here? Because I've got to plug in here for the y1 slot and the x1 slot. So this negative 3, I can use that for this x1. Plug it in. Look what we have here. It's a minus negative situation. Make it a plus. Now, uh, this 15... It's going to go in right here. And because it's not in the negative 15, we're just going to leave this as y minus 15. Um, let's get rid of the parentheses now. Multiply. Multiply again. A negative times positive is negative. The y minus 15 drops. And now just get rid of the minus 15. And there you have it, y equals negative 3x plus 6 is your function rule.